Hey guys, and welcome to with this computer vision tutorial. In this video here, we're going to play the hill climb racing game with hand detection. So we're going to use media pipe for doing hand detection. We can then set up the controls for playing the actual game. So we're going to play the hill climbing race game by controlling it with our hands. So we're going to like track it around in the image frame and then determine if we should like speed up or we if we should break with our car in the game. But first of all, remember to subscribe button and notification under the video here. Only 10% of you guys watching these videos here are actually subscribed to the channel. It's just a single click and it helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. You can also become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel with a small monthly fee. Everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. Also, if you're a member of the channel, I can help you out in your own projects. If you have some problems, I can help you out, give some guidance if you're a member of the channel. So thank you guys. So here we're just going to jump straight into the code here in Visual Studio Code. I'm just going to go over the code we have and then we're going to act like play the game where we're going to control like the hill, uh, hill climb uh, racing game with our hand based on detections we're doing with media pipe. So first of all, you, you need to like pip install OpenCV, media pipe and so on that we need. I have videos about that. I have more videos about like covering more about like how we can do hand detection with media pipe. I also have videos about like OpenCV and all those different kind of things. So if you're interested in that, definitely check those out on my channel. So first of all here, we're just going to import different kind of modules that we need to use. So we're going to use media pipe for the hand detection. Then we're going to use OpenCV to actually like read in the images and do some processing toward images and also show them at the end. We're going to import a time module so we can actually like time how long it takes to run this uh, hand detection algorithm on our computer. And then the last part here is the Pi Auto GUI that we're going to use to actually like use the controls on our keyboard. So we can use this module here to make controls for the game so we can actually control our keyboard, mouse and so on with this module. First of all, we're going to set up our uh, drawing and also our hand detector from media pipe. So basically just we just go in and use media pipe module So we have our drawing utilities and then we also have our drawing styles and then our act like hand detector here from media pipe uh, Will be like initialized in this object over here So we have MP underscore hands and then we can actually like use that to detect hands in our image frame so here we're just going to set up our drawing utilities from MP.Solution. We're also going to set up some drawing styles and then we have our hands for our hands detection. Then we're going to open up a video capture here with the served index. So if you just have one camera attached to your computer, uh, USB or something like that, then you can just open it up with the served index and then we're going to open up a video capture and store it as our cap. Then we can open up our hand detector here. So with media pipes hands detector, we go in and use this algorithm or like this machine learning uh, machine learning model here or like this deep learning model with the hand detector we can set the model complexity here here we just set it equal to zero you can play around with that we can also have a minimum detection confidence score so if the detections of the hands is actually like lower than this threshold value here you can play around with it if you get some false positives and so on and also if you want to make make sure that this is actually like a hand that we're detecting you can increase the threshold here as well also the minimum tracking uh, confidence here you can also play around with that like that that is for like actually like tracking around the hand so tracking the exact same hand that you're detecting in the image frame so we want to keep keep track of a specific hand in uh, in our image frame and then we're going to open that up as hands here and then we can actually just use this hands model to load in uh, like to pass our images through this hands model and then we can do get the detections do the post processing that we need to do on our output from our model and then we can display it on our image frame and also control our, our keys or like control our keys for the hill climb racing game. Then we're going to have a while up here running as long as our webcam is actually like open. We're going to read in a frame so we have cap.read. We will see if it actually like returns success and we'll also here we read in the image and we just store it in this uh, variable image. Then we're just going to take the height and the width and also the number of channels of our image. So we just take image.shape. Then we're going to start our time uh, timer here so we can time how long it takes to actually like run this algorithm and how many frames per second that we get. Then we're first of all, we're going to convert our color here because when OpenCV reads in the images, it reads it in, in uh, BGR format and we want to pass it in as RGB to our media pipe hand detector. So here, first of all, we're going to flip our image and then we're just going to convert the color from BGR to RGB. Then here, we're going to set uh, the image here writable equal to false because we don't want to write to our image right now. We just want that to set that equal to false and that will just be for improving the performance when we're actually going to process our image and just pass it through our model. 
then we can set a writable after that um, again. So here we basically just have uh, our results. So we have our results equal to our hand detector. And then inside our hand detector, we just call this method, which is called process. And then we just pass in our image. So take our image from our webcam, we pass it through this hand detector model, and then we'll just get the results in this variable here to the left. Then we just set the image here, writable equal to true again, and we convert our image back to BGR so we can work with it in OpenCV and also show it later on. Then if we get any results here with a multi-hand landmark detector, then we're basically just like, if we have some detections, we're just going to have a for loop running through all the different kind of landmarks we have in our hand. So here, I think we have like, it's 21 or like 28 different kind of like landmarks in the hand. So we both have like uh, the wrist, we have like the thumb, we have the tip of the thumb and all the different kind of like fingers that we have. Then we're going to set up our drawing utility. So we have MP underscore drawing. And then we're basically just going to draw the landmarks uh, on the image and also with some other different kind of like uh, parameters that we can set. So these are just the default parameters for drawing what we're actually like detecting with media pipe. And here we're just setting up the MP uh, drawing styles as well. So this is basically just like how we're displaying our uh, hand landmarks that we're detecting with media pipe. Then here we're going to just get the index finger finger. So this is actually like the index finger that will be the eighth index, but here we're going to use the wrist or something else. So you can act like just determine yourself or choose yourself what index or like what index uh, or like what uh, landmark do we act like want to use on the hand. So you can both use like the wrist, the thumb, the like tip of the thumb, like um, the tip of the index finger or something like that. You can just choose that yourself. So here we're basically just taking the X, X value and the Y value here for the pixel position in the frame. Then we're going to multiply that with the width and the height of our image. So we can actually like see where are the, where are the X like landmark in the image because these indexes here are like these landmarks that we get out here with the X value and also the Y value. We also get an estimate of the C value that is also estimating that, but these are normalized values. So we need to multiply that with our image dimensions. Then down here, we can actually like set up our controls for our keyboard with pi auto GUI. Then we can actually like just check here, like if the index finger is, is, is in one place of the image or like in the right side of the image, then we're just going to put out the text on the image that we want to gas up. So we're going to use the gas pedal. Then we're going to hold down this key here. So key down and we will turn that right. So here we're making, we're basically just making a key press heel and then, and then we're holding it down. And then we're holding up this key here or like this key up here is the left key. So we can actually control the, the gas and also the brake pedal with our uh, key errors on the keyboard. So this is just how we can access those and actually like control what is going on in the game. And then if our, if our fingertip here or like if the index or our hand landmark of the finger or like what we have chosen up here, if that is in the left side of the image, then we're basically just going to break and then we're going to hold the key down uh, for the left arrow and then we're going to have the key up for the right arrow. So basically we're just going to control, we're just going to control the car based on if we have our hand with some index or like some landmark in the right side of the image or in the left side and that will be divided with the width uh, divided by two. So it, it is basically just the right side and the left side of the image uh, where it splits up in the middle of the image. And then here I'll have to delete this break. Then we're basically just going to draw a line that shows like uh, where I back like the, dividing the image. We end our timer and then we calculate the number of frames per second. So that will be one divided with the total time. We basically just show an, an output here, the number of frames per second that we get. And then we're just going to use OpenCV to do im show uh, with our image here. If we hit escape on a keyboard at any time, we'll just go out of the while loop here and then we will just terminate the program and release our webcam down here at the bottom. So now we're actually like just running the program here. I'm just going to give you a demonstration of like what is this uh, hand detection here doing and how are we actually like controlling the different kind of like uh, things inside of the game. And then we're going to open up the game and actually like play the game here with our hand detections. So here, if I take my hand up, we can see all the different kind of like landmarks that we detect. Right now, I've just set the index here. So it's not my index finger that should cross like this boundary, but it should be my wrist. So it will be this landmark down here at the bottom. So if that crosses the middle line here, you can also like choose the index finger. So if you go over it with the index finger or like the tip of the index finger, uh, you will break. But right now we're just using, uh, using the wrist here. So here we can see that now we're, we're hitting the gas pedal up here at the right. Uh, top right corner and then if I take it over here in the left side of the image we can now see that we break and then we can see when I cross this line here it actually goes from gas to break 
from gas to brake. It's a bit hard to see on the top here with the blue background, but here we have the gas and we have the brake, and now we can actually just go in. So this is how the hand detection works. Now we can just go in and act like control uh, our game with this hand detector here that we have now shown you. So now we're basically just going to play the game. We can both like use, for example, the right hand to actually like have the gas, gas pedal. Then we can hit the brake pedal with our left hand. So we can actually just play the game like this if we want to. Or we can just like move our right hand from the one side to the other side here. You can play around with yourself. All the code will be on my GitHub. You can just go in there, copy paste it, use it on your own. And then you can try to play this game here. Comment down in the, um, in the comment section on the video here, like how far you can actually like come or like get with just using this computer vision technique and using the hand detector. Um, it could be a really nice challenge or like competition you guys can like participate in and we can just comment down under the video here how far you've come but to see how, like how good i am right now i've not like done it for that long but here i'm just going to press start and then let's play the game here we're going to press here and then we're just going to have the gas pedal first of all i'm just going to move my hand up here at the top so i'll just go over here and then we need to break here in a second so we still have the gas pedal gas pedal here we need to break so it's a bit slow we, we break here up 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 oh we're tilting we're tilting we hit the gas pedal oh i think we failed yeah oh we we saved it we saved it let's hit the gas pedal maybe a bit over here to the brake oh this is actually really hard now we're hitting oh gas pedal brake oh we failed <laughs> let's try it with the right hand and the left hand now and see if it's actually like better to control it in that way uh we need to act like we definitely need to break like way before that we already did here but here again, we're just going to start, try it again. You can also have some other different kind of conditions. So you can use like right hand to brake, uh, left hand to like uh, hit the gas pedal and so on. But here we're just going to start. We're going to have the gas. So here we have the gas. It also detected my left hand. Then we're just going forward right now, hitting the gas pedal. Now we get to the top here and now we should hit brake in a second. So let's just start to hit brake here and hit gas. Oh, we're just going up the hill here. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then we oh uh, oh and we hit the gas pedal again i should break i should break oh we we made it let's go let's go let's go let's go we made it we made it at the top of the hill here now we should break again oh we failed so this is actually a really cool video it can be used for a lot of different kind of things you can also use for for other games this is like how we can combine like computer vision make it more difficult to play these games here and also get some more variations in the game so you can use like different techniques you can also set up some other different kind of conditions for like how you want to control you can also try to control it with your head or, or something else so again comment under the video here like how far can you actually come let's make this to a competition and then thank you guys for watching this video here and again remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future i'm also doing a computer vision tutorial where we go over like the basic stuff about computer vision basic game operations, camera calibration, stereo vision, how we can combine that and actually like get point clouds from stereo vision, do post processing to point clouds and all these different kind of things. So if you're interested in that tutorial, I'll link to it up here or else I'll see you next week guys. Bye for now.